seeing is working so far with one UI 7 beta 1 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, this is going to be more of a first quick take to see what can we notice that is different so far on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're going to have a side by side next to the Galaxy S24 Plus, and that is running on one UI 6.1 based on Android 14 for the latest November update. While we have the Galaxy S24 Ultra on the left, of course, with One UI 7 Beta 1 running on Android 15. First thing you notice when we go into the software update information page is, of course, that this is One UI version 7.0. Of course, this is a beta, so there is the aesthetics. Some of the key icons, such as your gallery and the local icons from Samsung and Google, have changed for a much nicer and cleaner look. And even when you're going through the quick change menu where you're switching between the applications, you can see that this follows a new carousel with a nice clean animation and slick look compared to what you had on One UI 6.1. The first thing you're really going to notice is a bold new look. One UI 7 is introducing a nice fresh redesign to key components including things like the buttons, the menus, the icons, control bars, providing a much more consistent visual experience with curves and circles, making it just much more of an inviting look to the overall UI. And we are really liking it so far. So this is something they're adding more colors to it, a much more vibrant and circular look with more blur effects around in unique areas. This is pretty much what we're seeing here. Again, we can see a fresh new take on some of the icons, even down to the widgets with more widgets options. And this is something that Samsung are really focusing on with One UI 7, giving it a fresh new look. Now, when it comes to the home screen and the app drawer, things have been greatly enhanced. It's just looking much more fresher. And the most important thing with the app drawer is there is now vertical scrolling. We have been asking for this on a native level for so long when it comes to the app drawer. And this is something that Samsung are finally parts of the call to. So this is great to see. And I personally am a massive fan of this. You've got more control over your apps and widgets. You can actually resize it for the size that you want, the transparency, the color, the look. This is a level of flexibility that is really nice to have depending on how you want the home screen to look, which is great to see. There's more settings for how you want the widgets to look in terms of transparency or having a background. So this is also a great addition. You also have an option to enlarge your folders to make it easier to quickly access the applications that are in the folders. And of course, the Finder search bar has now been moved to the bottom of the app screen for easier access. And this is really aiding onto the original philosophy of One UI with better reachability. Now let's move over to the lock screen and always on display options. Things have really rebounded here in a very good way. You have the ability to see ongoing tasks on your always on display and lock screen, like the timer, clock, and also things that really need that constant information. This is great because you don't always have to unlock your phone to get distracted. You can get the information that you need right on your always on display as well as your lock screen. And when it comes to the clock widget, there are so much more variations of different clock styles that you can add onto your home screen as well as your lock and always on display. There's even more flexibility when it comes to editing the size of your clock with way more option and just the ease of use of doing it. And now you can see more and do more with widgets on the always on display and the lock screen with more options and information. Now for the quick panels and notifications. The notifications have been given a fresh new rounded look. There's a nice bounce to the notifications when they arrive as well as when you swipe down. And speaking of swiping down, the notification and the quick panels have been separated. You can actually change this, but by default, they do come separate, whether you swipe on the left or the far right for notifications, as well as the quick panels. Following on from what you could do with the always on display with more information, you do have live notifications this gives you continuous look of what's happening with things like timers where you can tap, reveal it more, and it can go back on the top left in a small live notification. This is great, less distracting, and a much more streamlined experience when it comes to notifications for ongoing applications that need it. And now the customization that comes to the quick panel. You can pretty much reorder the different stacks of what you have in the quick panels, whether it's the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth settings, or you're now playing, or the icons that come with the quick settings, notifications, and icons that you have. This is great flexibility and gives you even more control than you ever had before. 
The camera user interface, the UI, has been given a nice overhaul, aiding for better reachability and a visual look, making it easy for you to change and have access to the most important settings that you need to help you capture the best images and videos anytime, very quickly, in all the focal lengths that are supported on your supported Galaxy device on an Android 15 with One UI 7. The enhanced zoom options are there by default with a 2x option and when you do press it, you do see an extension for more of the available extended zoom available there. You can also save your exposure settings for compensation so that there's consistency as you go through. The pro mode for photos and videos have been greatly improved as well, in line with the UI change for much better user experience for pro users. And the grid lines for framing aids have been improved, giving you more options than ever before. There's a plethora of updates when moving over to the core settings of the phone battery. There are more power saving options available when you go into the battery option. This is great as this will give you even more flexibility to extend your battery or manipulate and use it how you would like for a much more consistent battery experience all the way through. This is great for more options for better battery life is something we will not complain at. There's more control over the battery protection option between 80 to 95%. And there is now a new charging effect which is much more subtle, smaller and appears at the bottom of the screen instead of the middle and this is to stop and prevent interruptions on your display.